We've seen the retail property sector take the biggest knock during lockdowns, but we've seen since the lockdowns, the hard lockdowns of 2020, um, a very significant improvement in this market, and that comes through very strongly in our FNB property broker surveys. So it's an improving market, and I expect further improvement in 2022. The question obviously is, what sort of improvement or how much improvement should we expect? I think the way I would put it is back to stable, back to mediocre perhaps, but certainly not shooting the lights out. And the reason for that is that despite the expectation of further normalization in economic activity as the vaccines roll out, as the COVID-19 virus recedes in terms of being a threat, which is a positive for physical retail, especially the entertainment and, and leisure side of it. But on the other hand, we have an economy that at best looks like going back to stagnation. We've got this myriad of structural constraints which economists talk about in this economy, which takes us back to that 1% to 2% type of growth economy, uh, not a booming economy. That's an economy in which the consumer is still significantly constrained financially. Um, not only is there a lack of employment growth to, to drive strong income growth in this mediocre economy, but they're also being hit by rising effective personal tax rates every year, government not fully uh, adjusting for bracket creep. There's municipal rates and tariffs, so there's very significant cost of living increases and then along with that rising CPI inflation rate and rising interest rates now. So there's, there's, there's a significant uh, bunch of pressures that keep the consumer under pressure. So although the re retail benefits from a normalization of ac economic activity, it probably is not going to benefit from any strong income growth in the, uh, for the foreseeable future. So it's back to a more stable environment post the lockdown period, which really hit retailers hard, but mediocrity at best. What does that look like in terms of capital growth? I think how that looks is a return to very low positive capital growth after two years of significant value decline during that economic shock of 2020 and still into last year. You get positive capital growth, maybe of one or 2%, which doesn't keep up with inflation, general inflation in the economy, and so in real terms is effectively still correcting just at a slower pace. I think that's a realistic prospect for the retail property market. It's useful to have some sort of stability in valuations, but the real prior value correction, which has been going on since about 2016, continues then uh, with a lack of all out nominal value decline. That's how I see retail property performance for the year. Where do I position it, my expectations relative to industrial and office? In the middle. It's the middle of the road sector, uh, the office sector struggling with the work from home surge on the one hand, really hard hit. The industrial sector benefiting from gearing up for greater levels of online retailing um, and the retail property sector somewhere in the middle of those.